Good morning. Today we're going to do a presentation of how many rose petals it takes to cover per square foot. So you can make calculations, how many bunches to buy if you want to do a 30 foot aisle a runner or decorate any, any manner of thing. We'll give a, a breakdown of how many blooms it takes per square foot to make an effective rose petal decoration. We're gonna use some uh, regular paper ba uh, plastic bags like from the supermarket. This is good, we're gonna recycle them, use them again. And we'll put some paper towels in there uh, because afterward they're in the bags, we're gonna pop them in the fridge so they crisp up nicely before we use them. To make this the most cost-effective use of your product, it's well advisable to let these blow open as, as much as you can. You know, if you bought them in somewhat tight, you really want them open because you get more petals. As the flower opens up, you've got more product to work with. And probably one of the most effective techniques I've found to really get these open, and you're not so worried about using them in arrangement, is to throw them in the back of your car and drive around with them for about an hour. Um, but keep them in water during that time so they keep hydrating, but they really will blow open rather nicely. Okay, I'm going to break these down and then we'll start the experiment, as it were. Removal of the petals is quite easy. Grip the calyx firmly and twist the bloom clockwise and maybe anti-clockwise as well and rotate the petals out of the calyx. This process is much easier when the flowers are very open and the petals are reflexed. If you are using damaged or distressed roses, you can insert your fingers into the bloom, bypassing the damaged petals and twist out the petals therein, leaving the bad petals on the calyx. Great tip, which comes from Alice and Alice who is a great resource in our industry. And remember, always separate all the bits and pieces that make up the flower so you have the most product available for your project. Good morning, we're here on location in beautiful Tropical Park in Miami. We've got our rose petals. Um, after I pull them off, I put them in plastic bags with some paper towels. Uh, I threw them in the fridge and then the next day I put them in the cooler. Um, they're wonderfully full of water, crisp, firm to the touch. And you know, when you're doing uh, runners or, or stuff outside or on location, having them very full of water gives them a lot more weight so mild breezes will not affect them and, and move it around um, so that said I'm going to start with the uh, test and uh, start making a one three nine square feet one square yard of a rose petal aisle runner Okay, so there it is. Um, this is a very rich carpet. I love, one of the great thing about rose petals is the color saturation is so brilliant. So you've got here beautiful texture, it's rich. It took 50 stems of radiant red roses. Good farm, nice large heads. But it took all 50 stems to cover this to a point where it, it's a really rich carpet. Um, next, uh, we'll do one using just one bunch of uh, roses and to see the effect of that. Obviously, there's going to be some of the background, in this case, grass showing through. But um, we'll get a side-by-side -side comparison. So here we have a really nice, brilliant yellow. Uh, these are the petals of Brighton. So there it is, a more relaxed, casual look. Um, each bag has 25 roses. So 
So I think here I use maximum 20 roses and I think if I use the whole bag, I would get the same rich carpet I got with the red, get with half the amount of roses. This can be attributed to the size of the rose. This is a very large headed rose, Brighton, radiant, a little bit smaller. And the other thing about the yellow is they were completely open. So, you know, even the little bits coming from the very heart, these add up to, you know, adding coverage. So selecting roses, large headed roses, and roses that will open, you know, as, as much as possible to yield the most amount of product, you know, are factors to take into consideration when you're planning uh, a rose petal decoration. So now I'm gonna move on and do it with just 12 stems to see what coverage we get there. Okay, for our last, uh, for our last square, just 12 stems, we're using Shimmer. <coughs> Gorgeous peachy pink rose, fairly light pastel color. Uh, I would definitely have a caveat with these kind of lighter colored pastel colored roses because they just bruise so much more easily. You now a yellow, orange, red, some darker colors uh, probably be preferred, but you know, the client, you know, if they want blush, blush or peach or pink, that's what you gotta go with. So we're gonna run the test with these. <coughs> this is Shimmer. Okay, so this is Shimmer, obviously a pastel rose. These petals don't have a strong uh, a self. Uh, uh, the, the integrity of the petals are a little softer. So these will move around a little more in the wind. There's been some breezes, a couple of rolling over, the petals are rolling. Red and yellow have not moved an inch. Uh, but it is very attractive to me, this sort of more humble approach is more appealing and I think if you have flower girls coming down the aisle and they could be dropping petals and adding to it you get a very charming vignette I think but you know it all depends on your client and your budget and other uh, other important factors uh, so there it is actually here <coughs> of the shimmer I only use 10 stems um, and I got a very nice very nice look you have to work a little harder on this because you sort of have to place petals um, in strategic places, but you are using less product. While a petal runner looks fabulous, in some cases it may not be practical, especially if there is a lot of foot traffic anticipated. Aisle borders offer a good alternative and pencil out at about two thirds the cost. Also guests tend to step over the border, leaving it by and large intact. <laughs> 